In the last presentation, we learned how to access elements of a list. Now in this presentation, we will learn how to add elements to a list. So without any further delay, let's get started. The first topic of this presentation is adding elements to a list. The second topic is append method. The third topic is insert method. And the last topic, the fourth topic is extend method. Let's start with the first topic that is adding elements to a list. So what do we mean by adding elements to a list and how to add elements to a list? Elements can be added to a list in different ways. There are multiple ways in which we can add elements to a list. Following are the methods to add elements to a list. The first method is append method. The second method is insert method. And the third method is extend method. With the help of these methods, we can add elements to a list. Now let's see how to do this. We will start with the first method that is append method and see how it works. So let's understand how append method works and how it is useful in adding elements to a list. With the help of append method, we can add elements to a list. Append method is a built-in method used to add an item at the end of a list. So append method is used to add a specific item at the end of a list. So we do not have a choice of adding items at any position. We can only add items at the end of a list using append method. Let's now see the syntax of the append method. We first need to provide the name of the list where we want to add an item. And after this, we must specify dot and append method. And to the append method, we need to provide the value, the value which we want to add to this list. Let's see with the help of example, how append method works. Let's open our command prompt and activate the Python interactive shell. After activating the Python interactive shell, let's type this languages equal to C, CPP, Java. So now we have a list of programming languages where we have a total of three languages, C, CPP and Java. Now let's say the requirement is to add one more language to this list. But before that, let's check whether Python has accepted our list or not. For this, we must hit enter and type languages. And again, let's hit enter. We will get C, CPP, Java, which means that Python has accepted our list. Now we have this list languages equal to C, CPP, Java. Now the requirement is to add one more language, Python, to this list. And we want that to be added at the end of the list. For this, we can use this append method. We first have to specify the name of the list, which in this case is languages. Then dot append. And to the append method, we need to provide Python as an argument. So now together, let's type this languages dot append Python. With this, we would be able to add this item called Python to this list of languages. And hopefully we will get a list of total four items, C, CPP, Java and Python. Now let's hit enter. And to check this, whether our list is updated or not, we must type languages and then hit enter again. We will get the list which contains a total of four items, C, CPP, Java and Python. I hope with this, it is clear how append method works. But there are a couple of more points I would like to discuss. It is not the case that we can add just one item with the help of append method. If we want to add multiple items, we can do that as well. For this, we need to duplicate append method as much as we want. If let's say the requirement is to add three items to a specific list, we must duplicate append method three times. Let's see how to do this. Let's start with our updated list languages equal to C, CPP, Java and Python. Let's say that the requirement is to add three more languages to this list, Ruby, JavaScript and PHP. For this, we must duplicate append method thrice. And in order to do this, we know that if we want to add one item to a list, we need to provide that item as an argument to append method. 
but first we must specify the name of the list and then dot and then append and then the value which we want to add to the list the first language that we want to add in this list is ruby so we must type this languages dot append ruby let's hit enter and now we are interested in adding javascript to our list we will together type languages dot append javascript and the third language that we want to add is php for this let's together type languages dot append php with these three commands we would be able to add ruby javascript and php at the end of this list let's hit enter and type languages to check this again we need to hit enter we will get c cpp java python ruby javascript and php as a result so we got our updated list and that is what we want i hope with this it is clear how to add multiple items to a list now there is one more interesting point i would like to mention in python it is also possible to add list as an item using append method so the next point is all about this a list as an item can be added using append method how to do this for this let's consider the initial list we took that is languages equal to c cpp java let's say that the requirement this time is to add a list as an item in this list which contains two items or two languages python and javascript and the requirement is to add the list at the end of this list for this we can use append method but this time we will not pass a string we will pass a list and we must pass list with two items that is python and javascript this is how we can do this let's type languages dot append python javascript so python and javascript are provided in this list and this list is provided as an argument to this append method with this we would be able to add this list to this list so this list will now be the fourth item of this list let's hit enter and verify this by typing languages and then again we need to hit enter we will get this list where the fourth item is a list with two items python and javascript with this i hope the append method is completely clear it is not the case that we can only add a string or any simple data type to a list we can also add a list or a dictionary or any other data type as an item to a list now we are done with this topic that is append method let's move on to the next topic that is insert method so what is an insert method insert method is a built in method used to add an item at a specific position we know that append method is used to add an item at the end of the list but we may want to add an item at the beginning or we may want to add an item at the middle of the list for this we can use insert method as insert method provides us the flexibility to decide the position where we want to add an item the syntax looks like this first we must specify the list then dot and then insert method to the insert method we need to provide two arguments the first argument is position and the second argument is value let's now understand how insert method works with the help of an example for this we will consider the same languages list with three items c cpp and java so we have this list called languages and we have these three items c cpp java in this list let's say that the requirement is to add one more language to this list called python and we don't want that the python should be added at the end of this list we want that the language python must be added at the beginning of this list that is we want that python must be the first item of this list for this we can use insert method because here append method will not work as append method is capable of adding an item at the end of the list but this time the requirement is different we want that the python language must be added at the beginning of the list so for this we must provide zero as the position value 
because we know that the index of the first item of the list is 0. So we must provide 0 as the first argument and the value must be Python. So let's together type this command languages.insert 0, Python. With this, we would be able to add Python at the beginning of this list. In order to check this, let's hit enter and type languages and again hit enter. We will get this list with a total of four items and it can be observed that Python is now the first item of the list. So with this, I hope the concept of insert method is clear. Now let's move on to the next topic that is extend method. So what is an extend method? Extend method is also a built-in method that is used to add all items of one list in another list. So with this method, we would be able to extend any list by putting the items of another list in that list. The syntax of extend method looks like this. We first need to provide the list which we want to extend, which is list 1 in this case, then dot and then extend method. And to the extend method, we must provide the list 2, which is the list containing items that we want to put inside list 1. So list 2 must be provided as an argument to extend method. In order to understand how extend method works, let's consider the same languages list with three items, C, CPP and Java. Now let's say that we have one more list called more languages, which contains two items, Python and JavaScript. So we have these two languages inside this list called more languages. Now let's say that the requirement is to merge these two lists or put these two items of this list inside this list. For this, we need to replace list 1 by languages because we want to extend this list. And then to the extend method, we must provide more languages as list 2. So we need to replace list 2 by more languages. So let's together type this command languages.extend more languages. With this, we would be able to extend languages and this means that we would be able to add these two items in this list. In order to check this, let's hit enter and type languages and again hit enter. We will get this list with a total of five items C, CPP, Java, Python and JavaScript. Now, this is the right time to understand the difference between extend and append method. Recall this that append method is capable of adding an item at the end of the list. That item can be a simple item like a string, an integer or any other such item or it can be a list, dictionary, tuple or many such complex data structures. We have learned this already that with append method, we can add a list at the end of the list. And we have seen an example where we have the list called languages with three items C, CPP and Java. And we have added this list with two languages, Python and JavaScript as the fourth item of this list. So at the end, we got C, CPP, Java and the fourth item is a list with two items, Python and JavaScript. But with extend method, we would be able to extend the existing list, which means that we are not adding this list as an item of this list. We are taking these two items from this list and we are putting them inside this list called languages. And the result that we got is this list with a total of five items. So we are not adding this list as the fourth item of this list. We are taking these items Python and JavaScript and we are putting inside languages list. This is the difference between append and extend method. So I hope the difference is clear and it is also clear when to use append method and when to use extend method. So with this, we are done with this topic also and this means we are done with this lecture. Okay friends, this is it for now. Thank you for watching this presentation. I will see you in the next one.